There is a new player in the local AI game called Claraverse. I just found it yesterday and take a quick look at it. It's a fully local AI super stack as they stated on their page and we want to take a look together at it. It still has some bugs but I think it's worth keep an eye on it and take a look how it improves over time. So let's start. That's the official page of this website or this web app and you get some informations here, you get the download here, you get the link to the GitHub page and you also can take a look at the features it has here. We will take a closer look when we test it out. So as I said, it's pretty new, has a lot of coming soon stuff and there are also some bugs, but yeah, let's check it out together. Uh, you can download it here or go to the GitHub page and if you want, build it from source as well, as well as download the releases from here. Let's take a quick look here at the GitHub page, where is a table with a comparison to Open Web UI and LibreChat. So as you can see here, we have a lot of features in Clara, like Visual App Builder, a native N8N automation integration. So it basically starts a Docker container with N8N, as we have it in the local AI package. And it has some other stuff like agent templates and builder and image generation with ConfiUI. If you have ConfiUI running, you can use that within Clara. Okay, once you have installed it and everything is running, you get this dashboard, this native desktop app where you can configure your dashboard. So you can rearrange your um, dashboard here as you like. You can add widgets here for system, these are basically the ones are already here on the dashboard, but you can add your own uh, widgets here with a custom webhook, for example, productivity like email inbox, or you can add your agents you created with Claraverse or even your N8N workflows. So let's quickly add here one I created and you can see click done here. Then you get it here and you could, you could run this agent or this app directly from the dashboard. And next, let's uh, do a quick look at the settings. You get some personal information here, but more interesting is the API configuration. You can configure Olama here for the, your models and also the ConfiUI base URL. If you want to use ConfiUI, make sure you use 1.7.0.0.1 and not localhost because that's not working. Also the default port for me is 8000 and not 8188 as the default is here as close placeholder. Is it just me or the default changed maybe in ConfiUI. Um, you can also configure the N8N base URL and an API key if you have and also can use OpenAI like API here. Okay, other than that, there are just theme settings and time. So the next thing are the surfers. So here on the top left in the menu, you can go to surfers and you can see all your Docker containers and manage them. It's pretty basic, but yeah, not bad. So you can see your stuff, which is running on your local system. You can also add new templates, new containers with some presets like Nginx web server and so on. I did not test this out myself yet, but yeah, looks good. Then let's go to the chat function. So you have here like in OpenWebUI a full chat interface. You can interact with your local models in this case because I configured Olama and not OpenWebUI, you can see all my local models are listed, are quite a lot, and you can now use them to chat. Let's do a quick hi to see that it's working. And while this is running, yeah, as you can see, it works. And as you can see, you already, you also got here a knowledge base included, so rec. You can add documents, but it has some bugs. Text documents are working, but I tried uh, PDF, which is not working at the moment. But yeah, I will, I guess they will fix it in the future. We also got tools here. That's also a bit messy at the moment, but I hope they will clean it up because you got here uh, at workflow, create tool and new tool. I think create tool and new tool are basically the same. This one is doing nothing, but if you click new tool, you can add your own tool here with a name, description, 
some parameters as input, and then you can just put in a JavaScript function doing some logic. So in this case, it's an example with just doing uppercase from the input. Yeah, then here you can see all your tools. This one was already in as default. So get the current time in a specific time zone. And you can use these tools then within your chat. There are also some other icons here like add image, add document, as we know from other chat interfaces. And here's also a code interpreter. This is also a bit buggy at the moment. So this is in beta or alpha mode, but yeah, looks promising. At the moment, you can't add really your own stuff. I tried to upload uh, own Python script, but it just gave me um, this default output and default function. So nothing really working here, but we will see what we get in the future here. Okay, let's go back home here and then go to the agents. So here you can add your own agent and also build own apps. So let's go to agents, create new agent, start new. And then this is a bit, a bit like any then. So you can drag and drop or yeah, move in your boxes. So concat text, for example. It's also a bit buggy at the moment because you can, can't remove something, just add. But how it works is just drag it in, for example, image input. Then let's do image text LLM, and then you can simply connect them. Um, static text here as well. And connect this here. Then you can choose your model and provider. Add our system prompt if you want, but we can also analyze the image. I think this is also not working at the moment, but let's try. Let's add image. And we need some output, text output. Let's connect this. And let's see what we get. Okay, got an error. Don't know why. Let's try another image. And add a system prompt. Image and describe it. Let's see if this is working. Maybe let's save it first. Run. No doesn't look like it. I don't know what's wrong here. Okay, I changed now the model to Codestral and looks like this is working. I don't know why this Llama model is not capable of doing it, but the workflow is working. As you can see, it generated these text output with a description of the image. So this is the edit mode and now we can save this app again, go back. And if we just open it, you get this interface where you can upload an image, click generate, and hopefully get a description back. So you basically develop the app for doing this. And here we are. Got a full description of the image, so this is working quite fine. Okay, if we go back here, you can see there are some other examples, some I created, and here this one was a basic example I just imported here from the community. So there are some others you can check out and see if they work. Okay, the next one is my apps where you can build um, UI apps. So you can just click create new. And then you got a chat and design, and you can, as you know, from bolt.diy or bolt.diy or Lovable, create um, front end apps. Build a simple UI interface for uploading image and 
and provide a text box for user input. Let's just try this. You can select the model here. I have Mistel Nemo in this case. And it's now processing the request and building the application. Okay, it's now ready and generated the code. So we can go here on top to preview. And we got a simple interface to upload an image. Looks like there's a problem, but it's basically working. So you can try this out, see if it, it works for you. And then you can go back. And I'm not quite sure how you can connect these app to the agents at the moment, but yeah, maybe you figure out and can let me know. I said I did not test very much. I just found this tool yesterday and wanted to share it with you. Okay, before we come to the image generation, we first take a look at workflows, which is NNN. It's included here. As said, it's uh, just a Docker container. They start up. I can quickly show you here in Docker. They start basically this three uh, containers. I think that's the main backend. And there's an interpreter. I don't know for which for what this is, but here's also a Clara NNN container. Just starts a default NNN instance and they include it directly in their web UI. We saw before that there's also a configuration here for an add instance. So you could configure your own, I guess, as well. But um, I saw when starting up and you already have your own, for example, OK, I packaged version of an add running, then Clara does not start up. So at the moment, this, this configuration doesn't make sense because yeah, it will not start if the Clara instance or docker container cannot start because of a port conflict i hope they change it in the future so we can use this properly okay but here in the workflow section you can then use just normally your um, workflows and you also have some tools here i did not test but you have a webhook tester quick workflows you can use and some other stuff you can, I guess, integrate in your N8N workflows. So I have to test this out a bit, little bit deeper. Maybe some of you did already test and can let me know how we can use this, but it looks pretty interesting. There's also here on top a Clara Verse store. At the moment, it looks like it's empty, but I guess in the future they will provide some workflows we can just download and use in N8N and maybe with also integrations in these other stuff here. Okay, now we can come to the image generation, our last point. Let's click here. And if you have your Comf UI running and it can connect, then you can go to the right. There is no indicator, but there is a right menu if you go with your mouse on the right of the screen. And yeah, I just have one workflow there and two base models. We can select one. I don't have the rest of these configurations here we can configure the steps and let's my model just supports yeah that's also a bit buggy okay and then we add an example prompt add create a landscape with mountains thingy Alps. You can also use here enhance. So as you can see here, there's an enhance model. It's just one of your local ones um, from Olama in this case. And yeah, we can check this out. Just click. Oh, I click generate. But if you click enhance, it will just send it to Olama, and then you can send the enhance prompt to ConfUI to generate your image. Okay, now this is working and almost done. And as you can see, we got our image back from ConfUI. So everything local created. And the Confi instance is also working on my machine. So this is fully private and that's pretty cool. Okay, that's everything I wanted to show in this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about 
Clarabras and if you want to use it or if you use it. And yeah, I hope this project gets on because it has a lot of potential and cool stuff and you can use everything local and have all in one place. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye.